Michigan Secretary of State wants Kwame Kilpatrick to pay nearly a million dollars for improperly using campaign money to pay legal fees. A hearing took place this morning in Lansing, and Action News investigator Heather Catalo was in the hearing and joins us live now from Lansing. Heather. Well, Joanne, the Kilpatrick Campaign Committee could have settled this matter last year for $11,000, but that settlement offer was never signed. And now the new Secretary of State is going after nearly $1 million. $976,493.29. That's how much money Secretary of State Ruth Johnson wants Kwame Kilpatrick to pay the state of Michigan. Johnson says Kilpatrick's campaign committee violated campaign finance laws when it paid out nearly $1 million in legal fees to defend the former mayor during the text message scandal. The Bureau of Elections alleges that Kilpatrick admitted during a recent deposition that his motivation for lying under oath was personal to cover up his affair with then Chief of Staff Christine Beatty. Elections officials say Kilpatrick's legal fees were personal expenses and were not necessary business expenses because they stemmed from his romantic relationship. He now is adamant under oath saying that he only lied about his relationship, the romantic relationship. He did not indicate any other lie. And that gave some substance to, as an attachment, as a supplement to the sworn statement he made in court. So from our point of view, that was uh, real clarity. Kilpatrick attorney Jim Thomas argued in front of the administrative law judge this morning that even Wayne County Prosecutor Kim Worthy once said the former mayor's crimes were not a personal matter. The complaint against him in the criminal case talked about uh, misconduct in office and acts which occurred while he was acting as the mayor. So, uh, you know, I think that I think that we're pretty clear on the law. It's, uh, but it's still up to the administrative law judge to make that decision. And you, you know, you never know how that's going to go. But your client has always proclaimed publicly that this was a personal issue. Well, I mean, how can you how can you not take personally the fact that you're being charged criminally? The lawyers for both sides have several weeks to file briefs, so the administrative law judge will not be making a decision until late August. Reporting live in Lansing, I'm Heather Catalo, Channel 7 Action News. Joanne, back to you. Heather, if the hearing officer rules against Kwame Kilpatrick, who's going to pay the money back? Well, essentially, the campaign finance committee is on the hook for this. It's not clear at this point if Kwame Kilpatrick would be personally liable for any of this, but he could be facing some serious IRS implications if the ruling goes against him. All right, Heather, reporting live from Lansing, thanks so much for the live report.